The word for the day is Ledge Camp. As in yesterday was Ledge Camp and it was a very successful event. Um, in particular, you need to thank um, the people who organized it. Edwin Anisco, Susan Smith, Ray Seaman, Susanna Randolph. I'm not sure who else was in on, on the organization. Um, but they, they managed to pull together a great event in a very short period of time. Um, and I, I want to give kind of a particular shout out to Edwin, who's kind of been new in the, the Netroots oriented circles around the state of Florida. Um, and the idea is that the reason why I think he's been like a, a great, great addition to a group of people that's already been, you know, filled with a lot of great activists is that he more than anybody I have met in a long time or know, and definitely more than myself is very, very good at keeping people on task and getting them oriented around accomplishing goals and specific projects and completing them and that type of thing which is always a problem with left-wing activists. There's always a lot of people who will show up for things. There's a lot of people who will talk things and throw out ideas. There's a lot of people who will puncture ideas and, and throw complaints and, and, you know, give your reasons why we can't do something. Um, and that stuff can be very discouraging and stop people from wanting to even try stuff. But when you have someone like Edwin kicking everybody in the behind and making sure that we we decide on something to do and follow up with it and stuff like that, it greatly improves kind of the outcomes of what it is we're trying to accomplish as progressives, as activists, as members of the party or of interest groups or whatever. And so um, I just wanted to give a, a special shout out to him for being that person that kicks the rest of us in the in the butt to make sure that we get stuff done. Um, now I will say I, I'm not completely convinced that I like the unconference concept. There's aspects of it I really like. I like the idea of you know everybody coming together and, and meeting each other and, and determining kind of a, a schedule of what's going to be done on the ground. I don't think I like though the idea of completely unprepared sessions and I know some people did prepare their stuff before they went in and I definitely don't like um, sessions that waste time and and you know some sessions at an event like that do waste time just because people think of them at the moment they get there or they're off topic or they don't really add to the the bigger concept or they you know don't accomplish stuff because they get sidetracked or whatever and that happens at anything you know any group of people can come up with that problem um but you know i think what the us as progressive activists are trying to do is accomplish actual change and so too many sessions into something like that in, in any kind of unconference and i've been to what three of them in the last year at different places and there's this type of thing has happened that um, some topics are covered by people who aren't sufficiently experts on them to make them as useful as possible and other people uh, other sessions get sidetracked by either um, you know off topic discussions or by too much personal detail too much example and not enough what are we going to do and how are we going to do it that type of thing and so that's not really my cup of tea other people love that and it helps them be more productive so i'm not necessarily saying that it shouldn't happen it's just not what i, pr I prefer to be much more like what um when i was talking about edwin where we decide here's a project we're going to do everybody decides which part they're going to do then they take that home and get it done that's that's more my my cup of tea so um and i'm much more about movement infrastructure activism how to um putting together the team and people and resources to accomplish anybody's specific task or goal not just you know focusing around one particular issue um, no matter how important that issue may be I want something that'll help all everybody succeed on all other issues that's more what I'm interested in and, and naturally that's not everybody's cup of tea either so you know obviously people 
for various reasons, most of them very good reasons, get focused on topics that become, you know, their life's work or what's important to them and that type of thing. So, and I want to, I, I want to focus on helping those people achieve that rather than doing that specific goal, but helping them with the tools and ideas to accomplish their goal, whatever it is. So that's more my thing. And some of you, you can get some of that at the unconference concept and some of it not. So, um, it has its multiple uses. One of the reasons why these these events that we've done here have been so successful, and while uh, why more and more of them are going to be done because they 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 are great. So if you didn't go to Ledger Camp, you need to stay kind of on the radar. Um, there's more events coming. Ledger Camp's going to be annual. Um, the um, Florida Roots Camp, I believe, is going to be after every election cycle. And then there are other events and things that people are going to be planning as well. I know that out of Ledger Camp yesterday came the idea for a uh, progressive platform uh, event. Um, I know also there are going to be uh, day of action events. Um, Ray Seaman is planning something and there are other people that are planning events like that and so there's other stuff there um, the year that it is a lot of the more Netroots oriented people will be doing stuff both at the Jefferson Jackson weekend event where um, most of the state party committees and everybody are meeting and there's a fundraiser in conjunction with that we'll have our Netroots training awards and that kind of stuff I don't know if the awards will be this year or not because of the state convention and then there's the Democratic State Convention where um, progressive groups and activists, Netroots otherwise, will be doing things at that centrally located uh, event as well. So lots of possibilities for people to get involved and get plugged into kind of the growing progressive activist network in the state. Um, and you should join us. We're going to be doing some pretty awesome things, I think. So that's it for today.